true honor for the University of Delaware to have been chosen as the host for this GPU programming hackathon, which is uh, co-hosted with Oak Ridge National Lab. We have teams from NASA Langley, National Cancer Institute, National Institute of Health, Brookhaven National Lab, um, CIS, UDEL CIS, UDEL ECE, and UDEL Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. We are here to meet some people in industry, uh, optimize some of our code and run it on the second fastest supercomputer in the world. Supercomputer is a massive machine. The one that these folks are accessing is Titan, which is at the Oak Ridge National Lab. So it's a massive machine and tons and tons and tons of computing capabilities. The hackathon folks are going to access the GPU, which are a higher end graphic processing units which have uh, much more potential than the GPUs that is commonly used in video gaming and things like that. Our goal this week is to accelerate uh, an existing application that we've already developed, which takes graph-based representations of programs and determines if they're malicious or not. And if they are malicious, it um, basically puts them in a category, we call them malware families, that basically can help security experts identify what that particular program would be attacking as well as how it would attack. We've actually teamed up uh, domain scientists that are already working in teams around an application with mentors that know something about the specific hardware that they're running on, which is a GPU. And then to that end, they come together to make things work. And I guess this sort of an event is a fabulous opportunity for the students and the faculty to develop relationship and collaborations with these external groups who are pioneers in computing and train them to be the next gen you know, computational scientists to tackle real world problems in a team sort of a setting. We have a big gap at NASA in particular with uh, HPC skill sets. Um, we've kind of let it kind of wither a little bit over the last couple of decades. And so it's also a very good benefit for us to be here to tie into some of the, the students. And we sorely need some of their expertise. So bottom line is the outcome is lots of lessons learned, lots of positive outcomes, and um, lots of feedback to the mentors and the software developers in order for them to be able to improve their software and um, also to be able to collaborate